And we bought the company in the 1970s. Uh, my father bought a half share in it previously. In 1974, I bought uh, the other half share from Reese Jones, uh, and we had controlling interest from that time. Uh, the company was established here in 1861, uh, primarily to, do, to produce school writing slates. Last year we celebrated 150 years, which is very unusual for a company to be established on the same site for such a long period. We've always used Welsh slate as our raw material, which is recognised as the best in the world. Uh, and what's interesting over the period is the raw material has been used for different uses. We've moved with the times uh, and we've started by doing, as I said, school writing slates, then evolved into uh, fireplaces, uh, and then into other materials, and into building materials over the years, you know, sills, coping, cladding. So it's, it, we've moved, the raw materials have remained the same, but we've moved with different things we've produced over the, over the times, and we're very lucky in that respect that we've kept up, we've been able to keep up, because slate's such a versatile product, doesn't uh, rot, warp or shrink, and so it's, it's got tremendous capabilities. On the craft side, we do a lot of clocks, which we've produced ourselves, lamps, barometers, which is sold in our retail outlet here at Inigo Jones. Uh, and then the other landscape products have become very popular over the years and we do lots of different things like bird baths, uh, sundials, um, obelisks, various things like that which, uh, which have become very popular over the years. Tourism is very important, I mean uh, we've we, you know, invested over the years since the 70s and we've become a major tourist attraction now and also we get uh, orders after people have been either they're buying when they're here on holiday or they, they go back home and perhaps they move house and they want a nameplate so then they can they can order that from us so it, it, it's very really, very useful. A tour takes about uh, just over an hour um, or a couple of hours um, basically there's a film first of all which shows how slate is mined and quarried before it's bought here because we get it from different sources from Abbas Leveni, from Corris, uh, from Blaine Festignoc and from Penryn Quarries for different slates for different purposes. Uh, then you get an MP3 player which takes you around the workshops at your own pace. You can stop and start as, as you require. You see various different things going on, the machinery. Uh, and then you, it's hands-on, so uh, we give a lot of opportunity to have a go at calligraphy. And also uh, everyone gets a piece of slate that you can engrave and take away as a souvenir. So that's, you know, that's very good for, for, all, for all ages. And also we have a children's quiz which uh, keeps kids involved. Uh, again, they can uh, get a slate prize after they've, uh, they've been around, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit of something for everybody, it's, it's for all ages. I think we've had to move on with the times, you know, now, um, just for example, with engraving, obviously the original process was just hand engraving and nothing else, and then it moved on to pantograph, which is copying a, a template, uh, and then more recently to, to shot blasting, where you put a tape over the slate and blast the letters out. And now the latest one is the CNC, which is basically we go uh, direct from computer straight onto, onto the slate, so you know, we've moved with the times in that respect. We've got a, a website which has been up for about five or six years now where customers can buy online, on a secure site, and we're finding that's uh, moved on a lot and uh, we've increased our sales year on year on that. Uh, and it's nice because obviously we can get business from customers who have not been here, so you know it's a worldwide market out there, so we, we do a bit of exporting to America and places like that direct. And also we find that people have been visiting during holidays, they perhaps come back a few years later and order something online, you know, and they've been to the region, but uh, they remember us from their trip here, and uh, so then they order us from us afterwards. So it's, it's, it's very important, and, and we can see it being more and more important in the future as well. We are a workshop, we're not a museum, we want to continue making things, but also obviously we want to invest in the product and improve the facilities so the customer gets a, a, better, a better enjoyment from it from their visit to our works here.